Okay, so let's talk about Google Workspace. Let's. Google Workspace is a collection of cloud-based productivity and collaboration tools that help people create, communicate, and collaborate, such as Gmail, Google Docs, Google Sheets, Google Meet, and Google Slides. And it's exactly the type of work you could start to add generative AI into. And so that's exactly what Google did. Now, there are two reasons we want to tell you about these new Gen AI features in these products. One is to see how Gen AI can be built into different workflows and applications and how different it can look depending on where it is. But that is the same underlying technology of Gen AI powering it all. And two is because these tools can be really, really helpful. Yeah, I actually used two of them just this morning. Oh uh, yeah, how? Well, I was editing the video scripts for this course. Ooh, how meta. And I was working in Google Docs and there was a phrase that just wasn't quite right to me. It was just sounding overly formal. So what'd you do? Easy. I just hovered over the phrase and within Google Docs, I could select the little Gemini icon and ask it to make it more casual. When that ended up being too casual for me, I simply just tried the rephrase button instead and got what I was looking for. That's awesome. So what was that second use case? Oh, I was just trying to find the formal definition of this project at work called Project Horizon. And I knew it was in a document somewhere in Google Drive, but I just had no idea where the document was nor what the title of the document would be. Plus, searching the name Project Horizon was just too vague. It got me way too many results of all the documents related to the project in general. And I'm guessing Gemini and Drive helped you there. Exactly. So I just went to the Gemini and Google Drive side panel and asked, what is the definition of Project Horizon? And did you get the definition or the document? Both. It pasted the definition of Project Horizon right in there, but then also pointed me to the source document as well. That's wild. Like, how would you have found that definition if not for Gemini and Drive? Honestly, I'm not sure. I probably would have wasted another five or so minutes trying to search for the document. Eventually, I would have given up and reached out to a coworker who I knew would know the answer, which would have wasted her time as well. Sounds like you saved yourself some time this morning. So how about we save our learners some time as well and jump right into these features. This lesson, we'll go through some Gemini for Workspace features. And then if you have access, we recommend you try them out for yourself. At the end of the lesson, we'll have a use case video that will show how one company is leveraging a few of these features to help their business. Ready to learn? Let's dive in.